Namaskaram. In my previous video for beginners, I had mentioned about the right hand being an equal partner to the left hand while playing your instrument. Now it is very important to train this right hand uh, for two reasons. One is for the right hand to understand the striking of different types of speeds. First speed, second speed, third speed and also to develop the muscles, you know, strengthen the muscles of the right hand because many a times, many of you are failing in talam as well as in uh, speeds because your right hand is not cooperating to go at that speed. So one needs to develop these muscles as well as to train these hands for different types of speeds. Now, how are you going to do that? So this video, I'm going to show you the importance of training your right hand for different types of speeds. So this, this will help not only the beginners as I'm talking about, but even the some many of the seniors who complain about their talam being weak, they can also follow this, uh, follow this lesson. Uh, I've always said that talam is a habit. Talam is a habit and you have to create good habit right at the very beginning. So how do you do that? Here I have a metronome. So I've uh, adjusted a metronome here. And this is at a tempo 48 beats as you can see. The first, fifth and the seventh beats I have raised the uh, uh, bars higher because the talam in Adi talam is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1, 5 and 7 is where we put the talam. So I just the metronome to Adi talam. I have kept the tempo very low at 40. Then you start the metronome. striking according to the tempo 40 and also putting the talam at 1, 5 and 7 now move your hand to the second string your fingers to the second string like I told in my previous video depending on your convenience shift the hand uh, uh, the space I mean shift the wrist a little bit in front and then play on the second string go to the third string Back to the second string, first string, now we will adjust the speed, we will take it higher. I am going to make the speed now 60. So at 60 also do the same thing. Same on the second string, move to the second string. Move to the third string. Back. Back to the first. Now you can also do mix and match between one and two. Between two and three. So you can keep on increasing the speed of the metronome and try various speeds, practice with various speeds between go jumping between the strings that is going to strengthen your 
right hand and also give the fingers the sense of how an equally spaced rhythm happens. Now in this same tone, I would like to talk about how you play three speeds. I mean strike four. I'm, I'm only talking about the right hand here. Please mind this. How do you strike for three speeds keeping the metronome at one uh, number, one tempo? So let me start the metronome. When you strike one strike per beat, it is first speed. One strike. So I'm going to do two strikes now per beat. One, one strike per beat was first uh, speed. Now I'm going to do two strikes. per beat of the metronome so that is training you for the second speed now when you do four strikes every beat of the metronome then you're training your right hand for the third speed this is going to be of great uh, help when you go and actually play your sarali verse or idhartha verse or your alankaras in three speeds uh, both that your uh, right hand would have become stronger and the right hand, the muscles of the right hand also get the memory of playing three speeds. One beat, one strike per beat, two strikes per beat, four strikes per beat. How do you do the four strikes? partner therefore to your left hand keep doing this practice even if you are a senior player do this practice before you start any of your other lessons you will see that not only your right hand becomes stronger talam becomes a habit for you after that the it seeps into the muscle memory and after that you, you won't have any complaints about uh, missing out on talam at all if you have any doubts do write in my comment section thank you